three. He's 18, stands five and seven. He flies out of Stockport MMA and hills from Stockport, Bailey DeLaker. And his opponent flies out of the red ball away then at 52. He's 23, stands five and five. He flies out of Viper MMA and GF Team Scotland and Hills from Greeno, John McIntyre. You're with me, Mr. Simon Stokinski. Well, ladies and gentlemen, Cage Door sets a close on our second contest. This is an amateur strawweight contest. Jordan McIntyre representing Team Viper, making his debut. He's fighting out of the red corner in the black bad boy shorts as he takes on Stockport MMA's Bailey Latham, 18 years old, also making his debut. And I've got to say, McIntyre, you know, 115 pounds couldn't, couldn't be any any more chiseled yeah and, and immediately lands a powerful oh. left hook but eats a couple shots right back um you've got two debuting guys here so you've got to think they're both going to bring it yeah latham has a little bit of range and length on his opponent that he's tried to work behind but mcintyre straight in on the takedown yeah i mean actually lovely stuff there by latham to try and work his way back up but uh, mcintyre doing a really good job of clamping down trying to get his chest to his chest and hold him to the floor looks yep. like latham's potentially looking at a guillotine but then uh, he let it go. yeah unfortunately it was more like my technique which is the you know side headlock <laughs> and that never ever bodes well powerful he, shots from mcintyre yeah, from the top and he looks really really strong at 100 and like a said at 115 pounds at straw weight there's not a lot of excess anything on this young athlete and those are heavy shots heavy heavy shots he takes his time Bailey Latham though showing some good composure nice. and lovely stuff to sweep him over it sounded like those body shots were hurting but he gutted through it and now he's in a dominant position oh good use with the butterfly guard though feet on hips forces Bailey Latham away and we stand up again and oh. Latham is again on his feet. Oh, he can't keep eating shots like that, though, when he works at his length. Yeah. Wow, big wow. shot. Beautiful. Lovely. Sort of hook or cross on that inside. And then the inside leg kick. And yeah, Latham, oh, Latham is not. fight. Wow. Latham is not doing a great job of keeping him out of his range. He needs to use his jab and use his length. But uh, McIntyre is storming the gates right now. Yeah, Come but, you know, we can, again, these are debuting, debuting amateurs. We can see the holes in their game, but both of them are exploiting the lack of hand defense. Like, don't. Mm. There's not a lot of head movement. There's not a lot of bringing those hands up high, but there's a lot of biting down on your gum shield. Absolutely. And the pace has been frenetic. I mean, just combinations with the hooks. Going hook for hook here. Oh, and a nice shot on the single leg and gets him down. Yeah, I was waiting for that. Bailey Latham starting to swing a little wild there. Ducks under does McIntyre. I mean, with the with the pace of this fight so far, I mean, it, cardio could become a factor very, very quickly. Absolutely, and that adrenaline dump, first time in the cage, the crowd around you. No, absolutely. So you're, you've, you've got to think moving forward, if, uh, if we don't see a stoppage, this time on top for Jordan McIntyre is going to be priceless. Absolutely. And the again, transition to again. Oh, now on the neck. Lovely back control here. Thought he had that rear naked locked in, but no, Bailey Latham. Crossing his feet under the hips and landing powerful shots. Yeah, that's it's got to be an awkward position again, oh, but a but lovely turn and roll. And that's time there. Again, good defense by Latham, actually. Whenever he's in a bad position, he's eaten a couple shots, but he's worked to sweep immediately. Absolutely, and on his feet, he's been landing. Oh, and both of these lads look raring to go for the second round. Both of them like cage balls. Absolutely, we touch gloves quickly and Bailey Latham advances to the center of the cage and you see he tried to work behind that front kick, but... Oh, and a, and a teep from McIntyre actually. Oh, good, oh, powerful leg kick. Yeah, on the inside, it just looks like he's able to land first to get off first. Yeah. Oh, working the body now to kicks to the body but a good a beautiful straight left Ooh. hand no, and good response with that takedown and a lovely finish there elevating those hips and putting him down yeah it's stepping over into that half guard now gonna look to maybe lock down that half guard a little bit of randy couture there mm. 
Yeah, if I was Latham, I would unlock my hands here, start looking perhaps for switches or trying to get my legs on the inside to look for some sweeps from the bottom. Um, oh. Squeezing on his head there isn't going to do him much good. That's lovely. Steps over, then figure fours the legs underneath. He's going to work his way up to that mount. Absolutely. Very Khabib-esque. Yeah, he's got a little bit of time to work. Of course, those three-minute rounds a little bit shorter. Well, yeah, this is where I, if, I think Latham should let go of this head and look for a more concrete way to escape because this is all scoring time for McIntyre. Well, it's top control, but there's no damage. There's no, and of course, under the new scoring criteria, you've got to be doing something with the position. Mm. Right now, he's in control, but he's still not able to land any shots. This is a battle of attrition, really. Oh, and a fantastic sweep from Latham there. Again, he's very, very good at when he's put in these bad positions, reversing it and getting to the top. Now we need him to hold it and, uh, like you said there, use some of that striking. Let's see if... Uh McIntyre starts to bring that. He look, he's but looking to secure the body triangle, sneak out onto the back. Oh, yeah, that was very, very sneaky there. Is he, like, threatening for the oh, arm now? Oh, yes. he's on that arm. Oh, oh beautiful. Wow. Punched his way out. Does Bailey Latham. McIntyre straight in on that single leg, though. Drags his man back Another down to the canvas. Takedown. He might be in a, a dash choke. of. Oh, no, he's out. Yeah, you can see that. The, oh, beautiful step over there. And now, how much time does he have to posture up? Look to land some damaging shots. The, the top game of McIntyre so far has been on point. Uh, and those shots from the top are devastating. Nah, yeah, they are big, heavy shots. Our referee looking close. Latham needs to move here, needs to try and get a half guard or something. Yeah, Simon Stadnicki is looking real close. Uh, and the TKO finish for Jordan McIntyre. Ladies and gentlemen, after two minutes, 41 seconds in the second round, your referee, Mr. Simon Stadnicki, calls a stop to the fight, declaring your winner by TKO, Jordan McIntyre. Please show your appreciation for